Hi, and welcome back to Pathfinders. My name is Erin. Thanks for joining me again. Um, this reading is a general reading for the sign of Aquarius. And I've already shuffled, I've already meditated in Aquarius. I've already got your reading and it's amazing. So you are getting a brand new beginning. And my light is so bright, you can barely see it. So I think this is a bright new beginning. This is the Ace of Wands and it's a beautiful new start. It is the universe handing you a new beginning. It's a creative venture, creative project, uh, something you do to um, use your creativity, your talents, and your gifts. And you are getting a brand new beginning. We have the full card with the page of pentacles. So this is a new career, new job offer, new create, like I said, new creative venture that you, <clears throat> you have taken a leap of faith. You took a leap of faith and you're using your gifts and talents. Uh, and you are getting this beautiful new beginning. And that is awesome. You have had some anxiety as to whether or not this was going to be successful. If it was going to, your wish was going to come true. If your wish was going to be fulfilled, if you were going to be able to do this, uh, whatever this creative beginning is for you, um, I see that you have had anxiety about it, but I am here to tell you that it is looking really good. This is a celebration and with the lovers. So, you know, then that makes me think this could be a creative partnership. This is the marriage card celebration. And maybe uh, this is a, a love offer. I see um, maybe it's with a Virgo, a Capricorn, an earth sign, Taurus, maybe. Um, I feel like it could be a new beginning in career, work or career, but this could indicate love. This could indicate marriage or like I said, a new partnership, maybe in a creative uh, field or line of work. But here is um, your ships coming in. Yeah, you are looking out. You're just, you, you're w just waiting. It's just a time. It's just a matter of time is what I hear before your ships arrive. And so any anxiety that you've had Aquarius about whether or not this wish would be fulfilled. Um, it's, I believe it's coming and you're just, it's like I said, just a matter of time before your ships come in. So that is a beautiful, beautiful reading. And um, I really don't see any reason to take any more, too many more cards. Um, this is, a, yeah, can't see it. This is the hermit in reverse, which means coming out of a time of in, inner reflection, coming out of a time uh, where maybe you've been isolated. You went within to develop this creative idea, uh, to develop this project, or um, just to, you just, you went within and you may have been, um, like I said, kind of isolated, kind of out of the public eye for a time. But it, you are coming out um, of that period of um, introspection and you're coming forth with this creative new beginning. So, oh, and I see, yes, you have been working the eight of pentacles. I'm sorry. It's so, there we go. Um, you have been working diligently up on your craft and um, you've been honing your craft. You've been creating this. Uh, product, project, um, masterpiece, your work of art, and you've been working very, uh, very hard at it, developing your craft. And yeah, I see 
the Knight of Pentacles coming in. And it's been, um, this is a Capricorn, Virgo, or uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Earth sign. Um, nothing happens quickly. Uh, and I hear like, um, nothing that's worth it, you know, happens overnight. So this has been, you know, quite some time you've been, you have been at this. So I do see some, you know, some struggle, some heartbreak, um, maybe some in the past, maybe with, um, this empress is in reverse and there's been, there's been some heartache. There's been some pain. There's been a lot of fighting and struggle in the past. Maybe with this, um, could be with a wife or the mother of your children, an ex-wife, uh, a woman in your life who you've had difficulties with. Um, that's what this is talking about here. So either that is you, um, or someone you are dealing with. <clears throat> and maybe there were financial problems in the past and you felt like you had to hold on. Um, again, I see lots and lots of pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo Taurus, Earth sign, and just really maybe having to save, having to be um, frugal with your finances because you didn't have a lot coming in, maybe while you were creating and developing uh, your gifts and talents, you know, it's not been easy. Uh, the, it's been a financial strain, um, but you've had to really uh, save your money You've had to be um, a spendthrift, I hear. And while you were developing your craft, <clears throat> oh, yeah, and you have the Nine of Wands, the, the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Nine of Wands. So um, messages not coming in as quickly as you like maybe it's not moving as quickly as you like and it's been a heavy burden you've been through a battle you are battle worn but um the eight and then then the nine and then the ten is the completion of a of the wand the creative project so you've got one more here i just realized <clears throat> with the the eight the nine and the one one more one you've been given by the universe it's a gift from the universe maybe the last well it's an ace it's the last in completion you're completing something but when you complete something you that means you're starting a brand new cycle and that's your ace your ace of uh, wands your creative Maybe you completing or you're near completion on a creative project that's then going to launch you into this new creative beginning. So that is wonderful. Um, the tower card. Mm. Um, the tower is uh, Uranus or, and Mars. Mars um, can cause a shake up in your world and that's not always a bad thing the tower card is about moving you in a new direction it's about the universe doing whatever it takes to get you to where you need to be sometimes we don't have the strength or the courage to do it ourselves so the universe will shake up our world Uranus will shake up our world in order to move us out of our comfort zone and into our new path where we need to be. And it doesn't always look good from 
appearances, but it's always a, actually for our good it, because the universe is moving something out of the way in order to put us on our right path. So, wow. We have the King of Cups. Wow. Um, there's the Ten of Wands like we were just talking about. So, um, you, this is the King of Cups. Aquarius, that's you. That is you. You are the King of Cups, um, a water sign. Or Aquarius is mm, not a water sign, but I equate Aquarius with water, being the water bearer. So it makes me think of Aquarius. But anyway, um, possibly at this full moon is the completion. There's the Ten of Wands. Like I said, you have the, where'd they go? The Eight, the Nine, the Ace, and the Ten of Wands. So that's Eight, Nine, Ten, and Eleven, or One, going back, to a new cycle is beginning. So that's awesome. Eight, Nine, Wish not, not quite fulfilled yet, not quite fulfilled yet. And you had anxiety about, that's the Nine of Cups. Where's my Nine of Wands? There it is. Um, you had some anxiety about whether this was going to happen or not. But you have the Eight and the Nine, the Ten, and then the Ace of Wands. So that is awesome. Um, it's all working out in order. It's all in divine order. And that is what the Tower is about. This is... um. You know, a di it's all divinely planned, no matter how it looks um, and no matter how difficult it may be. And whatever struggle you've had to co go through, uh, whatever tower moment you had to go through, it was to get you to this, to the ten, the end of the struggle, the end of the heavy burdens. And that is amazing with the, and a brand new beginning. So whatever creative project Aquarius you have been um, that you took a leap of faith on is going to wow bring you to the king of pentacles the top of success financial success uh, stability legacy a long lasting stable grounded in reality future this is not just a dream but this is the king of pentacles this is um again another earth sign capricorn uh, virgo taurus you might be dealing with or this is just you achieving success in your career so that is amazing i I don't think it uh, it gets a whole lot better than that. So I think we can wrap it up there. Let's do, um, <clears throat> I want to pull from my new deck. Um, this is Moonology. I'm so excited to use it. My Oracle Cards and by Yasmin Boland. They're beautiful. And um, oops, 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 oops. There we go. So let me get these all straightened down here. I wasn't quite prepared to do this, but I feel led to pull one of these moon cards. We have the full moon approaching. So um, I want to say, oh, they're jumping. Mm, okay. Wow, excuse me, oh, nice, oh my gosh, that's perfect, yes, that's why I wanted to pull these, because conclusions, look at this, the full moon, I was just talking about the full moon, look at that gorgeous full moon, it's coming on the 13th of October, I believe, and this says, I don't know if you can read that, I'll read it for you, it says conclusions are within reach. Wow. Full moon. Look at that gorgeous full moon. Almost looks like a blood moon. Um, that, wow. So conclusions, like I said, 
whatever you began, whatever creative project you stepped out in faith to uh, pursue, to create, to build, to dream, your conclusion is within reach. And that's, I believe, at the full moon. Energy is, the energy is gaining momentum. So if you feel like it hasn't been coming in quickly, and we did see that um, <clears throat> Eight of Wands was in reverse, that means it's been kind of slow moving. You've been waiting for messages to come in. You've been waiting for the momentum to pick up. This says right here, the energy is gaining momentum. We're starting to move forward with um, um, Saturn moving direct, Pluto moving direct, um, Sag Jupiter moving into Sagittarius, things are going to pick up. So this says, I love this one too. It says, take time to breathe out. So exhale, you are, it's like that exhale when you're finished with something, when you're finally come to the completion and the conclusion of something, it's like, it is is finished that's what I hear you know wow okay and now I can breathe now I can breathe so Aquarius I hope that you enjoyed this reading I did um, I had a great time reading for you Aquarius please comment in the comment section if you would um, when you comment on a video it helps that video to to go out to a larger audience. It helps me um, to get my messages out to a larger audience and to reach other Aquarians, to reach more people who might be in need of some guidance and, um, and might need to hear this message. So please just comment below if you would. I would so appreciate it. Um, you know, tell me if this resonated with you or not. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it's not for you. It's just a general reading, so it's not for everyone. But if this did resonate with you, please let me know. It really gives me in, um, encouragement to continue to do this. Um, when I hear that this is reaching people, when I, when I know that this is um, helping people, it makes me want to just um, do it more and it, it gives me inspiration and encouragement to continue to do this. Um, I absolutely love doing this and I'm so, I feel just so honored and blessed to be able to do this for you. Um, and I want to give um, this service for free as much as I possibly can. And when you comment and you like and you share and you subscribe, that just helps me me to give you more free messages from spirit uh, to help you on your way and to lead you to your highest path and your highest destiny so thank you again for joining me i am erin and this is pathfinders spiritual life coaching